In this episode, we will download the JChem for Office add-in from the ChemAxon website and install it for Microsoft Office. The first step is to download the installer from the ChemAxon website. For your convenience, we pasted the download link into the description of this video, but you can also navigate to our website at chemaxon.com and locate JChem for Office on our product page. Either way, you will be asked to log in or register. If you don't have an account yet, you need to create one in order to be able to continue. You will get to the download page directly if you have signed into your Chemaxon Pass previously, like I did. The orange button at the top gives you a link to the 32-bit version of JChem for Office. This is the typical Microsoft Office version, but it won't necessarily match your Office. It is important that you download the version matching the bit version of your Microsoft Office installation. If you choose the other version, the add-in will not work properly. Please note this is not the same as your Windows bit version. If you are unsure about your Microsoft Office bit version, please check out our documentation by following the link in the description of this video. Also, make sure your Windows and Office versions are both up to date. Other operating systems such as Mac OS or Linux are not supported yet. I'm running a 32-bit Office, so I'll download the 32-bit installer. If you need the 64-bit version, please click that one. For the 32-bit, I choose the Exe. The MSI is for system administrators. When you click it, you may get a security warning. Please accept it and run the file. If you are prompted to select a download folder, please pick one, for example, your downloads folder, and make sure you remember it. The download takes from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on your broadband. Once completed, click the file name in the notification area of your browser window or locate the file in the folder you chose previously and double click it. The installation starts and the JChem for Office Setup Wizard pops up. Click Next, accept the end user license agreement and click Next again. In this window, you can review the list of JChem for Office components to be installed on your computer. The JChem for Excel component is required. I deselect JChem for Outlook as I don't have Outlook installed on my PC. Click Next again. In this window, you choose to add JChem for Office components for all users of your computer. If you are the only user, you don't need to modify this option. Still, in the same window, you can confirm there are no other chemistry add-ins installed for your Microsoft Office known to interfere with JChem for Office. I don't have any such add-in, so I am safe to continue next. Your list of installed add-ins are probably different from mine. If all looks good, you can proceed. JChem for Office is now ready to install. Click the Install button and choose Yes if a security warning pops up, depending on your system configuration. The installation begins and we can follow the progress on the screen. JChem for Office has some prerequisites. These will also be offered for installation. If any security warning pops up, you are safe to click Yes. You may be prompted to install Microsoft Visual Studio tools. Please accept the terms and continue with the installation. The installer has finished, so I click Finish to exit. Let's see what has changed in Office. I'm showing this in Excel, but you will similarly find your freshly installed JChem for Office components in all other Office programs you choose to install this add-in for. A new tab was added to my Excel ribbon called JChem. This contains the major functionalities of JChem for Office, but in Excel I can also use the many Chem Informatics functions and calculators on the worksheet. 
Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from Chemaxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.